Hi, I'm John, and I like to relax. He, he really, really does. does. And I'm Tammy, and I like to explore. She really, really does. does. And I'm Austin, and I like to repeat. He really, he really does. does. And, and together, together we, we are Relax, relax explore, explore, Repeat. repeat. Hi guys, what's going on? We're in the Thousand Trails Mount Vernon, which is actually not in Mount Vernon, but is north of Mount Vernon, also north of Burlington in Bow, B-O-W, Washington. It's another Pacific Northwest campground that seems to be carved into the woods or into the forest. Spot right here has it has uh, electric and water, but no sewer. Um, really private site. Uh, you might be able to hear I-5 in the background, which some people might not, might not like, but our house is located very close to a state highway, and we get much worse traffic noise at our house. So it hasn't been bad. Kind of reminds me of home. Um, there's lots of big trees here, some, uh, some old growth stumps that are really good sized. Um, I'll flip the camera around and show you our spot that we have. It's kind of a cool spot, I think, and I'm happy with it. I got a new phone. It's got a wide angle option on it. This is, uh, this is our spot here. There's Dusty, our Jeep, and Harvey, the RV. Here's a, this spot's got the, uh, kind of like a backyard to it instead of a side yard. The fire pit and the picnic table are back here behind the RV next to this big old, old growth stump. What you see here, kind of crumbling with age now. But it was a big one. And then I think the table's a little green, but that's okay. Lots of ferns and big old trees. There's the backside of Harvey. There's a really big stump next door in the lot next to us, or the, the spot. Look at this thing. It's got like four trees growing up out of it. I'm gonna flip this one around, flip the camera around. So you can see the size of this stump. It's a good size stump. Anyway, we like it here and it feels nice and private. And I give it a thumbs up for Thousand Trails, Mount Vernon. Anacortes, Washington, and we're getting ready to go to this deli over here. We had, it was highly recommended, or at least recommended, and uh, we're gonna go check it out and get something to eat while we're out today. Uh, we just got our food. We're at Gear a Deli, Deli, in uh, Anacortes, Washington. That's Austin's turkey, something bacon, turkey to deli, turkey sandwich. And we got the Some Like It Hot, which looks really good. We got the hole that's a 12 inch cut into quarters. Um, it's a cool deli. It's got some old fashioned stuff. Got some cool old signs on the walls. Got like a like an original soda fountain type thing over here. Some cool antique stuff in here. stuff my face we're in historic 
in a quarters right now downtown on the main street. Um, we had a really good lunch at the, the deli and we're going to go, we've got some really nice looking parks here on the peninsula. We're surrounded on three sides by water. So we're going to go looking around and see if we can find some cool stuff to look at. Uh, this, like I said, this is Commercial Avenue, is the main street that runs through the historic part of Anacortes downtown. The buildings in Anacortes have like likenesses. I don't know if they're life size. I don't know if they're famous people, but I've seen a lot of these. Um, there's some down here across the street. Some, a couple of them have signs. Maybe I'll go read the sign and see if it says who it is. Okay, these guys have have names. Paul and Niccolo uh, Market here, 1922 to 1957. That's pretty cool. Funk Senior in France, 1917. I guess they make these likenesses from photographs. Here's a couple of dudes that look like they're prepared for to engage in fisticuffs. town we've been in, no matter how big or how small, has had a Mason's Lodge. Here's the lodge in Fidalgo, lodge number 77. Jim Brown, Jim Brown on this door, guarding, guarding the entrance slash exit. Over there on the corner diagonally is a carload of people. Maybe they're just out cruising. A wheelhouse over there has a guy on an Indian motorcycle. There's a kind of cool trash cans around here. Oops, this one. I was zoomed in. This one's got red rose salmon on the side street, 7th and Commercial Avenue. You can see the, the bottom of it. Got glass in it, you can see the clockwork moving. I can see it. I don't know if you can. I can see the second stick in. There's the pendulum down there. Now we're in Washington Park. We've stopped to take a walk. Um, there's a path leading down from where we parked and it goes right down to the water. Short path, lots of roots, natural forest trail. Yep. I uh, see water and through the trees and onto the shore. Yeah, that's the ocean, I think connected to the ocean. Look, sea sausage. What the heck is it? It's a sea sausage. No, you hungry? What is it? I don't know. It's kind of shaped like a sperm. Maybe it's just whale sperm. It's not a whale sperm. It could be. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, pretty. Is this supposed to be the part of the ocean? I think so. It's connected at least. That's kind of a picturesque view right there with that tree sticking out over that rock. This is odd looking seaweed. Does anybody know what kind that is? Looks like I know what it is. It's lobster claw. Lobster claw seaweed. Yeah, definitely lobster claw. That's my guess. 
And this one is a sea radish. At least that's what I call it. Currently sunny in 64 here at Washington Park in Anacortes, Washington. Watching the waves roll in. I saw that. Looks like one of them whale sperm seaweed. I think I've changed my mind on that one. I think it's a needle nose squid. Right there, you can see its tentacles down in the water, its head. And then there's its needle nose. Or it's a unicorn squid seaweed. It's starting to get a little more scenic. You get a break in the bushes. You can see out into the water at the islands. Those are the San Juan Islands, right? Maybe. Possibly the San Juan Islands. We just confirmed with a local that this is Cypress Island over here in front of us. And on the other side are the San Juan Islands. Currently not in view. We're gonna take a we're gonna take a wild guess and say this picnic area where all the grass is is the place on the map called Green Point. I bet I bet money on that one. Beautiful sunny day. Can't say that often enough. It's beautiful here. Our suspicions were correct. This is Green Point Meadow Restoration area. We're going to walk over here to this little ledge and look up the coastline a little bit. We weren't sure if there was going to be any parking on the loop road or not. That's why we walked. Um, but apparently there is. There are spots you can pull off and park along here, and this looks like a good one. So we're gonna take a little walk down this way. Steps right down onto the rocks. Pacific Northwest, this is what comes to mind. This spot right here. I don't know, just the way it looks. The trees and the, the trees running right up to the edge of a rocky shoreline. tomb a park the last words of that guy have a cost inspires a tenfold community preservation effort we came all the way to the parking lot to see some wildlife shouldn't be doing that dr. Doolittle you can't talk to the animals <laughs> uh, I just pooped.
It's not a goat. You're making them nervous, Austin. This is the road to the viewpoint. Mount Airy Road will be closed to motorized vehicles Friday through Sunday for the next several weeks. Today's Tuesday. It's a mile and a half up the road. But today's Tuesday, so looks like it's open. So I say we take a drive. So moments ago, we were at Tugboat Park, which was at sea level. Now we're at the top of Mount Erie, which is, according to our GPS, 1,237 feet. That, that road that we were looking up, we were considering walking. Um, it's very steep. I'm glad it was open because it would have been a heck of a walk. Uh, so now we're at the top, we're gonna look, get out, look around, and see what kind of view we have up here. Yep. Get you on the flip side. <laughs> well, if there weren't trees, it'd be a really good view of, uh, of everything from up here. They should just cut these all down. Annoying, blocking the view like that. There's some steps to another viewing platform. We're going to go over there, see what we can see from there. Yeah. Climb up there and sit with the eagle. I'm going to mountain Oh, Tammy's going to do some rock climbing. What <laughs> skill level? What skill level of rock climbing is this? See that? Yeah, I saw that. Like a mountain goat. Sure-footed, isn't she? Until she falls. Careful there. Mountain guardian. Is the, that bird is the mountain guardian. <laughs> Tammy's, Tammy's gonna try to climb the pole. You gonna climb up that pole? No. Rub its head. It's good luck if you can get to the top and rub its head. Ah. Uh, okay. Here's the stairway over here to the viewing platform. Hopefully we'll have a little bit better view. Looks like it clears these trees here. So I'm gonna head down, check it out. trouble with the trees. There's unrest in the forest. There's trouble with the trees. Here's another viewpoint. Have we stopped that? We we're on our way down. Saw this one. Thought we'd pull over and check it out. Whoa, that's pretty nice. Looking off to the west. <laughs> 